Valley Beach Police officials are discussing golf cart safety rules and regulations on the island following Friday night's fatal collision. News 2's Kevon Dupree joins us live from the Folly Beach Police Department. And Kevon, you heard from the city's police chief earlier today. What did he say? That's right, Brendan Carolyn. Now, police say there are two different types of golf carts. There are the traditional ones that you would see on a golf course, and then there are also what they call low speed vehicles. And that was the type of golf cart that was involved in Friday's fatal collision. Folly Beach Police reminding residents of golf cart safety following Friday's fatal DUI collision that left the 34-year-old bride, Samantha Miller, dead and her new husband, Eric Hutchinson, fighting for his life just hours after their wedding. The LSBs are becoming more prevalent, especially places like downtown Charleston, on the islands, and so that other vehicles, when driving through these streets, and especially these locations like downtown on these islands, the speed limits are low for a reason. Uh, and they need to be respected. Folly Beach Police Chief Andrew Gilreath says traditional golf carts and low-speed vehicles have separate regulations. Golf carts specifically uh, can be operated during daylight hours. They must have you know, a local city permit and by state statute can only be operated within four miles of the address in which they are registered. Chief Gilreath says traditional golf carts also cannot be driven on Center Street or Folly Road. Low-speed vehicles must have lights, Department of Transportation-approved seatbelts, as well as meet several other state requirements. A low-speed vehicle can be operated on any roadway with a speed limit of less than 35 miles an hour. And as a result, it does not have a restriction on geographical location in which it can be operated. It can be operated at night. Officials say it appears the victims in Friday's deadly crash were following these regulations, but they're still working to learn more information. They did have their lights on. Um, the lights were on when the officers arrived. But as far as their use of seatbelts, I, I do not know. And officials say both low speed vehicles as well as golf carts must be driven by someone who is licensed on any roadway. Reporting live from Folly Beach, I'm Kevon Dupree. Count on two.